stop playing with them. So this is what the wig looks like, don't mind the face, uh, without any plucking, any work done. Let me kind of just zoom in a bit. As you guys can see, it is a full lace wig. Having bleached knots, I will not bleach knots. The curls are popping. The hairline is pretty plucked. I could do just a little more for these baby hairs on the side, right here, you see? So I'll do that and I guess I'll do it on camera for you. What's up, y'all? Oh my gosh, when you just said what's up, y'all, I thought about Big Derek and how Hunter, he used to, Hunter used to have this song called Naked Boy in the House. Every time he get out the bathroom, he start dancing with all his clothes on, like Naked Boy in the House. That's the baby. No. You can definitely tell the difference between the baby hairs and the regular hair. I love to tell you guys, but Wigs and weaves, they're all your preference, so you don't really have to make it difficult. You just have to, to make it look how you want it to look, otherwise you're gonna pay somebody like $500. Yeah, the wigs are already pretty expensive, however, they last forever, but there we go. Then I'm gonna just clip this side back to, uh-oh. I don't have any pins to kind of like pin the hair on there, so we're not gonna really, oh, we're not gonna really worry about that. But typically you could, you could like pin it down, so it won't, won't move. But I'm gonna just go in with some tweezers. A person, I'd love to, I'd love to come back because I read all my comments and stuff, but a person was like, when I was doing my synthetic wig transformations, they were like, ew, you don't tweeze your parts? Like, that's so gross. And it's, I only tweeze my parts with human hair wigs because human hair wigs actually last and I'm gonna have this on my head for like two weeks. So with the synthetic wig that I'm gonna take off at nighttime, I don't really feel the need to pluck it. So that's just me. If you wanna pluck your synthetic wig, you can pluck your synthetic wig. I'm gonna stick with concealer, so. That's my biggest pet peeve when people are like, uh-uh, you need to do it this way. No, you keep doing it the way that it works for you. Uh, so yeah, now you see that all this hair right here is supposed to be for our baby hairs. And I'm gonna just lightly take some tweezers. I'm just lightly plucking. I'm not gonna pluck too hard. So whenever you see the girls moving super fast, it's probably just because they sped it up. So when you're doing it for yourself, just take your time, especially if it's your first time. Honestly, you really didn't even have to go in and pluck the this hairline because it's already nice. The knots are not bleached, but you don't, it's cool because I'm gonna go in with a, what do you call that, a nude stocking cap. And I'm gonna show you guys everything I'm gonna do. I wanted do. to show you guys that I really don't have a braid pattern. It's just like this. Okay. So I'm gonna go on my got to be glue. Then we could even spray it a bit because I got my free spray. A lot of people ask, why do you choose to wear a wig cap? And personally, this is a full lace wig. And my hair is dark. It's not like I have blonde hair. So the wig cap helps for this wig to look more natural. I didn't bleach the knots. I don't want to bleach the knots. This is my way of making the wig look more natural. This is a 360 full lace wig. I personally love the way the inside looks. There is like no sign of lace in here. It does come with three clips, two on the side, one in the middle, and it's adjustable straps. So right now I'm just gonna go cut this lace off and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I cut the lace off as close to the lace as I possibly could. All right, so we're here with this weird angle because I really have to see what I'm doing. So right now I'm just getting it positioned onto my head. I'm gonna see if I wanna use the Got To Be Glue gel or the holding spray or both. So this is the part that's the most scary, I would say. It's really just getting everything on there. So for this, it's easier to do like section by section because this lace is really transparent. So I did use both got to be glues. I used the gel first and then I spritzed it. Now I'm gonna go on with my handy dandy silk scarf and this literally just helps bond everything together. Okay. I'm gonna just go in with my comb. Hair is beautiful, curls are lovely. The hair is super soft. And when I mean super soft, I mean like you could probably straighten it and get it bone straight. Okay. 
So I'm gonna slick my baby hairs with a bit of gel. The most important thing, you can either use a rat tail comb or your old dirty toothbrush. I don't be really making things difficult because I don't have baby hairs in real life. This hairline is already very natural to me and I don't have no hair left out. Jada 